Welcome back to remote learning lesson number six. We are doing operations with decimals. Adding, subtracting, multiplying, and then division. Adding and subtracting decimals are the rules of the exactly the same. We are going to be lining up the decimal point. We are going to line up 532 and 26 hundredths plus 12 and 86 hundredths. Making sure you see the decimal point right over the top of each other, the first thing you do is move it straight down, keeping our place values in an orderly fashion. Now we're going to add like normal. 6 plus 6 is 12. Put the 2 down there. Add the 1 up top. 8 plus 2 is 10. Plus 1 is 11. 2 plus 2 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. 3 plus 1 is 4. And then 5 plus nothing is just 5. Again, making sure we are lining up the decimal points. Multiplying with decimals is a little bit different, but we're going to do it as pretending we are multiplying like normal. I'm going to multiply 36 and 1 tenth times by 26 hundredths. This one you don't really have to add, line up the decimal points. We are going to be counting the number of place values to the right of the decimal. So I have 1, so I'm going to put a little 1 off to the side. On the second number, I have 2. So I'm going to put the 2 directly under that one, and we are going to use this for later. Now I'm going to pretend the decimal points aren't there and multiply like normal. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 6 is 36, carrying the 3 up top. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 plus 3 is 21. Don't forget that when we're multiplying like normal and we are doing two place values, we have to have a placeholder underneath. Now I'm multiplying like normal again. Two times 1 is 2, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 down here carrying the 1, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Adding these two numbers together, 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 7 is 9. Great job getting this answer, but we are not done yet. We have to go back to our first instruction of multiplying decimals and adding these numbers together. 1 plus 2 is 3, and that is how many place values to the left I am moving. So I start at the end of the number, 1, 2, 3. So my final answer is 9 and 386 thousandths. Okay. All right, last one we are doing is division of decimals. Division of decimals, we are going to be doing a long division. Same way, I'm going to divide four tenths into 26 and six tenths. When we're dividing decimals, we have to think of one thing. There's one main rule. We cannot have a decimal outside of the house. In order to do that, I have to move it to get a whole number. But don't forget, whenever I do one, one thing to one side, I must do the exact same thing to another. So now I'm seeing how many times four can go into 266. Four can't go into two. 4 can go into 26, 6 times, 6 times 4 is 24, subtract 26 minus 24 is 2, looking up here, can 4 go into 2? No, so I bring that final number down. 4 can go into 26 again 6 times, 4 times 6 is 24, subtracting 2. Can 4 go into 2? No, so I have to bring the next number down, but you can't forget to move that decimal up because we don't have any more numbers to use. Bringing the zero down, four can go into 20, five times, and my answer is 66 and five tenths. Stay tuned for number seven.